Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know how long this recording is going to be because I'm recording this at like 10 p.m. I went out, I had like a birthday thing with some relatives, and that was pretty cool. And I was like, okay, I've been like trying to record this game for like the whole week, and I've been playing like the N64 platformer stuff. So, real quick, I want to say the game we're going to play, it's called um, I Have No Mouse and I Must Scream. And I want to just give like a quick thing before I play this. I know like a little bit about this game, so I'm not going in like 100% into this blind. I actually even have a walkthrough. It's a spoiler free walkthrough though pulled up on my phone. And I'm saying that first because um, this is like a really hard game to the point where people are usually like, yeah, save your time and like actually read through the short story instead of playing the game. But I bought the game on Steam for like 89 cents. Um, I've had it on my wish list for a while. I have. It is something I've been like curious about wanting to play. But what I do know with this one is that this is like a very depressing um, point and click game. And just the story in general and everything with it is like really dark and depressing. I don't want to say like what, but there's definitely some like heavy topics in here. So if that's like not your thing or something, I know I play a lot of like you know, happier stuff on here. Uh, this might not be the playthrough for you. And I'll admit, if this gets, like, too heavy for me, you know, I might either just stop playing completely, or I might have to, like, take breaks from this game in case to, like, you know, process it a bit. So, I just wanted to, like, say that before I started the playthrough. You know, we'll, we'll see how this goes, but I am interested in this one. I actually just finished installing it. It didn't take long. What is safe graphics? I, I don't know. We'll just we'll just play it. I'm hoping this also will have some kind of save too because I do not want to do this thing all at once. What? Uh, remind me later. I don't know what that is. Let's just. Is it okay? Yeah, it's recording on my end. Good. I always have to check because I had to like mess with my microphone earlier. Yeah, so this is like a '90s point-and-click game, and I usually like those. Well. I've never really played any, if I'm honest, but it's like a genre I'm interested in, but this is one where it's like, story's gonna be a lot. Let's go with that. Oh, and the author, um, Harlan Ellison, also voices one of the characters in this, which I think is pretty cool. Music's pretty good. Kind of mysterious sounding. Uh, okay, enter. Enter you five. Would like to play that game. Ooh, wait, let me turn up the volume so you guys can, like, hear, because there's, like, voice acting on here. Because it's just my desktop audio, I'm not really sure what I need to... I'll put it to, like, 45. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. I'm, like, right in front of the mic for this. But I want you to hear the robot character, too. So we actually get to pick who we get to play as, I think. Oh, okay, there is a save thing. That's good, that's good. Yeah, voice is both. I don't know what that means. Like, saving name. Bumble? Let's see. Hope we'll be able to, like, save. Okay, we can, like, save over our game. That's good. How do I get out of this thing? Uh, can we play? Um. I'll just like go in order, I guess. I think that would probably be fine. I think this is the first person on my walkthrough anyway, so... Wait, what does this say? Oh, that's just like the block. Oh gosh, that was so loud. I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful girl. For 109 years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt. What hell hold did that godless machine put me in this time? Yeah, no so kidding. Some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. Yeah, to what? I see your razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Alright, what a way to start. What is this in this? 
Oh, so we have all these options here. Real hospitable of you, Ham. Threadbare, cockroach infested, grease stained accommodations. Ugh, is that like skin on there? Kinda looks like skin. Let me just see what everything is. It's this mirror. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Oof. Okay. I thought there was gonna be more of an intro instead of directly starting us with all these people, but I guess that's fine. Not this one. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. Yeah, where the hell are we? What's this? Someone must have slipped us under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects, and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. Not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hmm. Hey, disappear. What kind of game is Am playing this time? Oh, Am, by the way, Am is the name of the computer that is, like, torturing these humans and stuff, and he's, like, basically... I think the backstory from what I remember from what I read is, like... He's a computer built for war. He's like killed all of humanity except these five humans to like torture them over and over. So he's putting them through these like torture game stuff, I think based like on their past. Cause like he mentioned this guy's wife, for example. Okay, how do we get out of this room then? I've never seen anything like this in all the years Anne's toyed with us. Hmm. Like the rest of this cesspool. What are these things? An electrical contraption. There have been sparks dancing all around it. Is it locked to? How do I use the door? Lock the door. Oh, use. There we go. All the cabins are alike. It's all nasty. What's the deal here? Just take it. Oh wait, what is our psych profile? Cultural reference, man does not live by bread alone. Is a proverb meaning that people have needs beyond the psychological- Oh, physical ones. Yeah, I agree with that, they do. So I'm assuming that's his psych profile. So book over here. So also this other stuff. Mm, let's see here. What? This book is little more than a pile of dust. Okay, but can you read it? My name's printed on the front of this book. It's a little bit concerning. Much. I don't want to hear about the hole in your chest. Okay. Can we... Wait. I know I'm supposed to look at the box. Is there anything else we're supposed to do? Yeah. Alright. How do we leave? It's so weird. I just have to... Let's see. Okay. So yeah, the door's invisible. Then we have to go in this room. Where's the crew? Here. Ew, is that a dead rat over there? What is that thing? Hmm. I have to keep taking these sheets for some reason. Okay, so we have all these gross sheets. Where's the door? I want to exit. Okay, there we go. So then. We should go over here. Let's see here. Wait, sorry. It's Use. locked. It's locked. Bro. Um, what to the... My stomach's growling. That's not good, dude. Maybe we can find him some food. Where's the crew? Yeah. I'm here. Well, what is it? What's under the pillow? Oh. 
What do you find it all to be? It's usually not good when you find a gun. Hmm. My stomach's growling. You cannot do anything about your stomach, dude. What is that stuff? Someone sure trash this place. Hell of a fight. Yeah. Bowl of punch. This punch smells like gasoline. Ugh, I know you're hungry, but let's not drink that. This vomit stain, yucky. Vomit stains. Do the punch bowl. You just see there's like handprints and shit around? This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. What here and God knows what else. Hmm. Wait, I have to press the use to the doors, it's really annoying. Sticks in here. Yeah, we can find some food. There's like some rats and stuff. Mm. There's a fork? Looks like a fork. Oh. You missed it. Yeah, I almost missed that too. Oh wait, let's take the fork. We can use it if we eat something. A kitchen knife. Damn big one too. Yeah, now we can eat some food. We've got utensils now. It's kind of a messed up fork. It's in the oven. It's like a gas oven. Oh. Have to climb it. Yeah, let's not put people in there. Okay, we're in. Sharp enough to slice through just about anything. That scared them away. I think they got some cheese. Can we take that cheese? Oh, bread. Oh, the bread looks all like moldy and stuff. Maybe we can eat it. I'm no longer hungry. I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? I don't think that means something's wrong. Eat. There's a cookbook somewhere. Wait, where is... Oh, look out, we're already on that. An old cookbook. Yeah, you can cook now. And I think we can just... Take it? We can read it. Oh, maybe we use the cookbook? Let's see. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive, and the will will be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wrong. What kind of crap is this? Yeah, plot of the innocence, yeah. It's empty. But the label says poison, fatal if swallowed. You're gonna make some weird cooking then. Okay, let's get out of here then. Oh, wait, no. Walk to. Where's the door? This door. Keys. Back to the main corridor. We have to walk past it, apparently. Christ, what a stench. It smells like piss. Rotting meat. Ugh, smelling like piss is never good. So there's a bottle of milky fluid. We have to take that. Is it the milk of human kindness, maybe? Hmm. This level is a little My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Oh, yeah, let's not let's not do that. There's a key somewhere. Where's the key? We're not taking the engine, we're taking the... I don't see it. It's supposed to be a key I'm supposed to take. Maybe it's somewhere else in here? It has to be here somewhere. What the heck is this thing? Harness. 
I want to look at it. I want his commentary on this part as well. I didn't expect you to electrocute myself. Maybe don't do that. Okay, so it's supposed to be a key. I have to use a lever. Let's try this lever this time. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. No, I don't want to take the lever. Oh, there's the key. Let's take it. Can we use the key? The cages, maybe? Oh, we can't free the animals? That's not good. We have to head back to the dining room. Because when he said the thing about the cages, about, no, about the blood being on my hands from the keys, he, uh, he meant that literally. Nervous the kitchen? Um, use, I think it was these. No, it was not this one. Uh, I'm trying so hard to, like, not get lost in this place. Uh, oh, please. Let me leave. Get the hell out of here. Maybe it's just walk to. Okay, there we go. Was it. Was this way, I think? Is the kitchen? No, 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 not walk to stairs. Walk to. Corridor. Let's see. One of these was a kitchen. I already forgot which one. I think it was this. It's locked. What? No. Oh, wait, yeah, it was locked. That's right. Duh. I was just in the kitchen. Nope. Oh, this was, I think, the kitchen. Let's see. No. What the hell was it? Uh... Okay, here it was. I have to use tablecloth. I washed my hands in the past. Okay, good. Um, turn to the end of you. End of you. And then use the fork to stop the machine. I honestly thought that was gonna electrocute him, but good. We stopped the engine. Turn to the corridor from the left. The rest of this is cool. That's right. Um, use the door. And then. Get the, excuse me, go up the stairs. Oh. Airships are pretty cool. Why is there blood and rust everywhere though? It's all yucky. Oh, this is it? Okay. Use the knife to cut open an entrance in the back. Like sharp enough to slice through just about anything. That's what we're gonna do, sir. Gas is rushing out. Wait, that might not have been the thing I was supposed to do, shit. Uh... No doubt about it now. I must put me on the dark of it. Why? Why would he give me a chance to escape?
And then we have to... Why is this heart there? I didn't know what that thing was. I thought it was a cool heart. Yeah, where are we literally taking your heart, Corister? I noticed his portrait changed. This no good hard line doesn't beat anymore. Hmm. Wait, use knife with. I don't know what to do with these. This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. No, I'm trying to use the knife with the rope. We're gonna take our rope back and we have to go. I'm gonna save because I might mess something up. Okay, I'm hoping that'll save, save everything. We will see, we will see. Okay, so it says I can cut. Oh my gosh, no. Cluster, I'm trying to. Can I cut anything else? So I can cut at least two of these things, so I will. Cutting more than two will kill me, though. So let's get the hell out of here, then. At least the music's interesting. Oh! Shit, I might have cut too much. Wait, let's see. Okay, I guess we're fine, then. Use the hat. Because we've been everywhere, too. Foresters. I wonder if he has amnesia. So we're gonna figure out what all these things are. Hmm. Let's see, use. Oh, I guess it's walk to then. Let's go inside. If to place your name on it, that's pretty cool. Use the front door, of course. Oh, Oh, can I use the jukebox? Yeah, I'll put on some tunes. Oof. Who is Glennis? It was my fault, wasn't it? Damn, okay. I just wanted to put on some tunes. You don't ever take me dancing! That's what Glenn said the night before. Oh god, why'd I have to hear her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Oh, Glennis is his wife in the assailant, Sam. Okay. You're a worthless excuse for a man. Mama was right. You're not good enough for me. Oh. <laughs> What was that last one? It was kind of funny. I mean, not the rest of the dialogue. The rest of the dialogue was sad. He looked really freaked out. I can see in his character portrait he's also really freaked out. Um... Oh, it said do not select the third choice. Great. I'm gonna... I'm gonna load my save then. Okay, so at least saving is very, very important, and we can like figure out dialogue and stuff. So that's good. Something feels different. Maybe the saved uh, name thing is just like a, um, you know, like literally different save files, so I can just have Bumble with numbers or something. Where? The fourth one is harmless and unnecessary. The third one was bad. Some 
There we go. Tiny plants. See, look at the, the bottles. Wait, oh, look at the whiskey. Harry used to guzzle this stuff like it was tap water. Let's take the whiskey then. Sometimes it's so hard to click on like a specific thing because everything looks the same. It's kind of weird. Okay, so we took the whiskey. Use the jukebox, select the first and second choices, not the third. Okay, so Jezebel. That shrew voice can only belong to that bitch in my mother in law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. I know. It was my fault, wasn't it? Don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glenn said tonight. We thought, Oh God, why'd I have to hear? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Perfectly use the restroom. Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures. Disgusting. It's broken. Oh, thought maybe he needed to like take a piss or something. It's twisty. Mm, I don't think there's anything good in here. I just wanted to see. Uh, wait, use the door. That's it, this husband. Harry. There's a guy in here. Let's talk to Harry then. Or wait, no. I'm supposed to go outside, so we'll come back for Harry. Nope. Okay, I can't do that. I might have screwed something up. That's alright. I won't save any more then. Uh, talk to Harry. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Harry. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to click that. You know, whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spine? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Let me pour you a drink. Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Morister. We came on the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. Did what? Whose heart was impaled in a Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What did you do? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Oh, do I have to give him another drink? Let me pour you a drink. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. What happened in the dining room? I should know how to force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Oh, in the Zeppelins, we killed someone there. Yet. Hmm. Just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Wait, Harry's alive? Like a lot? I thought this was all like a hallucination type thing. Or like a setup by AM. Thought Harry was a hallucination. Okay, uh, yeah, there's someone I was supposed to talk to and I did not. So I think we have to go into the graffiti classroom. We have to look at it. I mean, you did say, didn't you? Take a leak. Hmm. 
There's something shiny inside the urinal. I can't take the whole freaking world with me. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant take the magnifier. Glass, like the ones they use in detective stories. Oh, so we have more things now. That's good. Um, I have to go back to the airship now. Filthy. The rest of the cesspool. I know, I know. Oh, go, mister. You've seen better days. So is the big machine for that matter. Oh, it's a... It's a jackal, apparently. I thought this was like a weird dog. I have to talk to him. Okay, I was supposed to talk to him earlier or something, but it's fine. He's here now. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. He seems polite. Uh, what are you? It's kind of race. Playing with my mind again. Ooh, but I do have a machine. He and I are like brothers. What does that mean? They're like brothers. Oh, one of the lore things I completely forgot to mention about was that, I mean, like backstory things, is that AM used to be three separate computers and then they all got like combined into like a master computer or something. So maybe it has to do with that. Maybe it's like the consciousness it sounds dumb like maybe it's like the consciousness of the other computers maybe wants to like help the humans maybe that's why the jackals like were like brothers that's the only thing i can think of i don't know why can't you give me a straight answer like so many others down here i'm cursed to speak in movies we all have our curses to <laughs> yeah what's my curse after 109 years in the belly of the beast, I think you have a gun instinct by now. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come on, Mr. Forgive and forgive. Where do you come from? You So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some of If they're gone, it's a long journey across the desert. Maybe we have to go after it. Doesn't it doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes I have cooked up for us. Keep my words, Callister. You can never make it alone like that. Don't mm. expect me to be a good dog in that time. Aww. I'm gonna come with us. I have a craving for you. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yes. Spooky, okay. We actually have to give him my heart, so. I'm not giving this away. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. I'm not giving this away. If I'm... We have to give it away, Gorister. I got nothing more to say to you. Fine, I'll save, and we have to give him the heart. Oh, it's like a give it to him when he asks for it thing, so let's do that. Um, I'm not gonna keep it in my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains next year. Oh. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. Okay. I've got nothing more to say to you. Hmm. Okay, there's a shovel we're supposed to take. Is that interesting rubbish to sit through, Gorister? Does that give you some food for the... There aren't any bodies buried. Not yet, anyway, bro. There's more interest. Does that give you some food? There's supposed to be a shovel in here. Hmm. It's a shovel that's supposed to be in between them, but I don't see anything. That's really weird. Okay, how do I get out of here then? 
walk to... Okay, good. There's no shovel that I'm seeing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, we have to go back. to go back up here. We have to go back to the dining room. Here we are. Um, wait, hold on, let me see here. Oh, we have to use the magnifying glass. Okay, where is it? There it is. Look at the debris. There's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. I hear some that matches Harry's. Yeah, because I knew Harry mentioned about a fight. I understand what happened to you. He mentioned about killing someone, though. Was it Gorster? Hmm. It's not the room I wanted. Uh, out, please. Okay, we gotta leave. At least we found out some key information there. I think I'll play this until I'm like done with Gorister's scenario. And I have to be careful about my choices too because um, <coughs> otherwise I'll get denied some endings. Because we can kill him, but I'm not supposed to do that. So let me save before I confront him. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. And I have to talk to him. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Bro, okay, we have to pour you a drink. Pour you a, pour drink. You a drink to get you to talk. I was, I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. <laughs> Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank oh. it, I wrestled you to the ground. Why? When the poison took effect, I cut you open. That's why his heart's missing. Why did you kill me? It's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Talk to you later. Okay, we have to use the restroom. We have to flush it. Uh... this like three times and we're supposed to be taken somewhere so we can't use the urinal it's broken but he did say to flush three times so one more I wonder if I could have liked read this information and then done this and then had to skip everything but then we went oh how do I get bodies on meat hooks damn you bastard what have you done who are these people? Oh, it's his wife. What has Am done to you, honey? And Edna. That's Edna, my mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. What? Okay. Can we talk to them? She can't talk. All she can do is drool out of the side of her mouth. Like, uh, what have I done? Yeah, holy cow. She can't. Oh, wait. Go. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Anne. Why would you want to escape from me, Boomster? We're family, after all. You know what you did. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Of course. I was just concerned about my baby. Glennis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I 
I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Forrest. Something's gone wrong. Am's two comrades don't listen to me anymore. Two comrades? You need me. It's that simple. You truck driving son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. Damn, okay. Please, I'll do anything you ask. We are not supposed to give her the milk. We'll have the worst. We'll not be able to get the best possible ending. No, I don't trust you. Oh my gosh. Edna, you dropped the key. Hand me back that key and let me down. I'm your only hope of getting out of here. Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spin. Good call. I let you go. Now give me the key. Wow, we just took her- oh, she's just in my thing now. Okay, we have to take this key, too. Got the key, um... Exit the meat walker. How do I get out of here? Wait, what is this? That's a little weird. Is there stuff? I don't want to be in this meat locker anymore. It's kind of depressing. Okay, we have to get to the airship now. Use the front door, please, Corst. Use, use the door. Fine, walk to the front door. There we go. Sometimes it's use and sometimes it's walk. I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, return the airship and walk toward the original clone. Yeah, we have to use Edna's key now. Wait, no, 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 I do not want to go up those stairs. I want to go... There we go. Okay, we can use it on the door now. I think I'll save. I've been doing... Okay. Wait, continue. Uh, use the key on... I think this one? Damn, the key doesn't fit. Oh, damn, okay. Um... Filthy. We're supposed to use it though, that's weird. It's locked. I mean, that's why I'm trying to use the key. Damn key doesn't fit. Uh what do I do the <laughs> The guide is literally telling me, yeah, use the key. I don't know what to do. Is it this one maybe? It's coated with brine. Okay. It's so weird. What the heck am I supposed to do if I can't use the key then? Is this maybe the wrong door? No, that's that. So it has to be that door, so let's go in the original corridor. Use the key. Maybe it's a different door then. No, that one's usable. And it's nasty. Maybe I have to clean the key or something? I'm gonna try that. Maybe it doesn't fit because it's literally just covered in blood. Because otherwise I cannot continue. <laughs> or I mean, I probably it's could. Stuff. No, it's Tried blood on the key. See if we can wipe it off, maybe? Do with these? No? What the hell do I do then, Forrester? I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
Yeah, that's why I'm trying to clean it. It's not letting me clean it. It's not letting me do anything. Because we have to read a logbook. Um, that's what the door is for. It's locked. Damn key doesn't fit. Okay, I guess we can't read the logbook. Hopefully that doesn't screw anything over. Let's go back in the honky tonk as it's called. We have to go to the freezer then. Please don't screw me over. Uh, so I can use the back door, maybe. No, that's the dog. Oh, the freezer is the meat room. Okay. Well, I couldn't do anything with our stupid key, so. Ham's never given us proxy before. None of this makes sense. It's gross if you won't cut them privacy. Oh, I have to do this like three times again? Wish I could just had a button to- okay, perfect. Um... Wait, you weren't supposed to drink that? Shit, uh... That's not good. That's not good at all. Load my saved game, please. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, Edna's key with the door. Okay. So many dials and controls. Okay, that accidentally worked. Perfect. Yeah, not the bloody key. Edna's key. So we have to read a log book. Uh, look at... Log book. Wrote this log book. Can we use it? Can we take it with us? Alright, we can read. Okay, so she's alive. She's working with Am. I never meant to drive her crazy. I'll be damned. They just claim responsibility for Glennis. Interesting. It wasn't my fault after all. He's smiling. It's the first time I've seen him smile. I thought I could do what Am wants. But he's too precise. Poison the punch. And I couldn't bring myself to cut out Forrester's heart. Hmm. Maybe I can have my husband do it. And Miss Zeppelin can clear the mountains. If we don't finish the job, Ab will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. He's smiling, so I will save. That's good that I got to read that then. Good job. Okay. Yeah, definitely continue playing. It's a good thing I figured that out. Um, use the door. Then not have Gorister. I wasn't trying to get him to drink the milky fluid, by the way. I just wanted him to, uh... Aw, he's frowning again. There's no smiling in this game. Okay, use the front door. Now we have to go in the in the room. Yes, I know. It's filthy. Like the rest of the cesspool. I get it. Get it, Gorister. Uh, it's almost 11 p.m. for me. Yeah, I'm gonna finish like each character's scenarios one video and then... Yeah, continue from there. Okay, so we have to give her the, um... We have to feed it to her. This fluid should revive you, honey. I'm supposed to take her. Why, uh... Why can't I take his wife? Oh. Where? It's not popping up.
Yeah, I'm supposed to take her body. Can I take the beef? That would be kind of funny. Uh, wait, maybe I have to like give it to. This fluid should revive you. Unless this I have to give to her now. Doesn't let me take her body. So I have to. Wait, maybe I have to use it on. Better stuff. No. I'm not supposed to have him drink it. Ah, that's annoying. Load. So wait, did he read the whole thing? I might have to have him read this whole thing. I want to make sure that it's used. I'll literally just skip through the dialogue too. I don't know if I have to let the voice acting finish. No, I don't. Cause I know we read that. I know that was the whole thing. So we have to go in the meat locker again. So I have to take her body from the freezer and then use the magnifying glass um, on the beef. So let's see. Ugh. We're almost done too is the thing. It just takes a while. It's annoying trying to get things to work. That's how. Aww. Okay, that's how we take her body out of the freezer. He's smiling again. That's good. Um, use the magnifying glass with the beef. Wow. Damn. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. We have to cut out the heart from it. Um, there's organs inside. I don't know why we need to leave with the heart. We have beef. I like how it's labeled as beef's heart and not beef heart. Okay, so we can leave the freezer now. Um, and then. Go to the back door with the jackal, and then we can get our heart back. That's what the heart is for. Hello, jackal. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Maybe we can. It just comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bond to be position. I'll offer you the pretty. Your heart. Good for Edna's. So we could have just killed her and given the actual heart. <laughs> also, I hope there isn't a loud noise right now. Someone's currently showering and the walls are very thin. Can't really do anything about that. the shovel to dig a grave and bury her. I got nothing more to say. Also I notice he's still smiling, I'm glad. Where is the shovel that I was trying to get? Because I can't dig without the shovel. And I don't have a shovel anymore. I'm not, but I want the shovel, but I don't see it anywhere. It's supposed to be between the garbage cans, but it doesn't say... Wait, wait, look at shovel. Okay. There's a shovel there. See, I can't even see that. Where you use that, I'd like to know where all 
human bodies out there. Well, fine. I'm gonna just bury, uh, Glennis. Okay, use... I think I can save, actually. Let's see, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he mentioned about reading the logbook, so I think we're good. He's smiling. So that is good. I want to make things... We're not gonna get, like, a happy, happy ending, of course, but... But it's possible with this game, actually. You can get a happy ending. It's just, uh... The creator made it very difficult to do so because he didn't want to make a happy ending. Okay, so we have to bury Glennis. Bye, Glennis. Isn't it a bit premature to be digging your own grave, Goldstone? Dude, you just saw me bury his wife. Um. We have to talk to the jackal again. I've made amends for burying the past. Literally. It's some giant forest. I got done with the storm as a pause. You'd better hurry if you want to recharge your own particular battery. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, jackal. Jackal was actually helpful. Harry was also helpful too, but this jackal didn't try and like kill us or anything, so that's good, that's good. Okay, we have to go back to the airship. Use the ladder. Yeah, he's not smiling anymore, but I mean, that's understandable. He. Okay, we have to go to the engine room. Where was. I think the engine room was upstairs. Let's see. Go, Glorister, go! Wait, this isn't the engine room. I think the air engine room was one of these. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like coughing. This is the no. Shut up about the filthy like the rest of the cesspool, Gorister. Ah, okay. Not, not this room. I keep getting lost. There's only so many rooms in this ship. I will continue getting lost in this game. Is it this one? Oh my gosh! Use the door. This is not an engine room. Might be one of the other ones then. Where's the corridor? Wait, who's there? Yeah, the places you need to click on this is, like, so bizarre to me. I don't know if I'm on, like, a time limit or something either. It's weird to think about. Okay. Ending room? Nope, not ending room. Hmm. Engine room? No? Where the hell is this thing? I remember what it looks like, I just don't remember how to get there. Walk to... where's the door? Walk to door. Is it the first one? No, I think the first one was just normal. Uh, use, let's see. It's none of these freaking rooms. Perfect, okay. Oh, this was the engine room, duh, it's not even a real room. We have to place Edna in the harness to power- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I wish I had some water. Okay, we have to use Edna's body with the harness. Use Edna- do I'm trying, Chorus, to shut up with the harness. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Wow. Lit. Okay, um, go through the main corridor. Corister, please. Okay, uh, go through the main corridor and up the stairs. Okay, I'm just reading from my thing, that's not like commentary. Because <laughs> Steam has, seems great where it has walk, people will make walkthroughs for stuff. So I'm just, I don't even know which one I'm following at this point. Um, wait, up the stairs. Flip the switch. So how do I get out of here? She goes to the main corridor and up the stairs. Flip the switch to activate the emergency. Uh, 
the hell do I do? This is kind of warning light. The label says power. It's not lit. Uh, supposed to be some. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it's the switch? Yeah, it's, I said flip the switch, didn't I? So use the switch. Airbags are inflating. Whoa. Okay. Um. Turn to the door. You open with Edna's key, so we have to go back to the corridor. What is the bloody key for then? So use Edna's key already. To go back into that room. Oh. Yeah, I hate that it's like. What? I already opened it though. Fine. This key with the door. Okay, and then we have to push the lever. So how do I get up? What am I supposed to push? It says there's a lever I'm supposed to push. I don't see it. Wait. Wait, there's something for like a second. Switch maybe? Oh, it's like 3D. 3D in my 90s game? Cool. Return up the stairs. Yeah, walk to the door. Good, we're moving, we're moving, we don't die. Awesome. Exit to the tear in the balloon. Use your gun to shoot the honky tonky. Uh, use the tear? I don't know why we have to use the gun to shoot the building, but... Okay. Bruh? Oh, that actually worked. Here, here's a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? Oh, he's gone. He goes back to being tortured. I feel like there should have been more dialogue there, because they each have their own, like, cages that represent something with, like, their traumatic past. So that's Gorister's whole thing, and then we have four other people to play as, and since I was gonna go left to right, next is Ellen, but I'm not gonna do that for this. I don't wanna read what this thing says, it's gonna bother me. But yeah, I'm done for now, but, you know, I mean, it sucked about his wife, I didn't like the meat room, he got murdered, he had, it was kind of interesting about learning about his amnesia and realizing that he was dead. And that sucked he got to escape, but of course no one can escape in this game. Things are going to get more sad. Yeah. But I will save that for next time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. Maybe I don't know when. Hmm. Alright, but I will see you guys. Just wanna make sure I'm like saved, saved. I think we're good. See you guys next time. Uh for more of um I have no mouse and I must scream. Alright, bye bye.